If you manage to get lucky only to be knocked out and wake up in some abandoned building with some crazy asshole telling you about some sexually transmitted ghost, spirit, demon, or whatever the hell this thing is, could you survive? This is why you wouldn't survive it follows. If you enjoyed these types of videos, please consider subscribing and leaving a like, thanks. Let's start off by talking about what we do know about whatever this thing is. First, we know it's transferred by having sex. Although there aren't many details on this like, does it have to be penetration or will oral transfer it? And what if you use a condom, will that keep you from spreading it? This would be very useful information to have. Anyways, we also know that the entity only walks. It will never run after you, fly, or use a vehicle to come after you. So you don't have to worry about that. We also know that it can shapeshift. The movie only shows it shape shifting into different people, so it's unclear if it can turn into something like a dog or a cat, let's say. Also, the only people who can see it are other people who have also been infected. It also kills in a chain, basically what that means is it kills the last person who's infected, and then the person who infected them, and so on. One thing I'm unsure about is can you still spread it if you're not the last link in the chain, if you pass it on to someone then have sex with a different person, will you also pass it on to them? It's unclear. We also know that it does interact with objects in the real world, like it doesn't just phase through doors or something, so you can use a locked door and other things to buy you some time, you can also hit or shoot it to knock it down for a second, but it always gets back up. There is no way to put it down for good at least that we know of. The first struggle with this thing is believing it actually exists. In the movie after Jay acquires the curse, Jeff knocks her out and brings her way out to some abandoned building and shows it to her. If you're in this situation you're going to be terrified having just been kidnapped and I'm not sure how much of what this guy is saying is actually going to stick, but even if you catch everything he says no one would believe him. Most people would just rationalize it away saying it's just a sick joke or something. There's a good chance that this thing would just kill you in your sleep. Nerd Explains had the idea to let the entire world know about it by getting a paintball gun and shooting it so that other people could see it. The people who witnessed it firsthand could believe it no problem but anyone watching it on a video probably would think it's just some kind of hoax, but you probably could get enough people to believe it that way. In his video he talks about the government running experiments on it and trying to learn things about it and ultimately kill it. The only problem with that is when has anyone ever heard about the government running experiments on something and it turned out to be a good thing. He mentions them launching it into like a sun or a black hole. First, there's no guarantee that this would actually kill it. I mean, it is some kind of supernatural being after all. Secondly, I doubt the government would do that it would be much too valuable to them. They would just experiment on it until they unleash something even worse on the planet, probably causing some apocalyptic scenario wiping out all of humanity that's usually how these things go right. So I don't think telling the whole world about it is a good idea. Let's say you believe Jeff and prepare yourself without issue. The way I see it, you only have two options. You can do what Jeff did and just pass it along, or you can run from it yourself for the rest of your life. Because as far as we know, there is no way to get rid of the curse for good. If you pass it along, you will still be looking over your shoulder for the rest of your life. Eventually, it will kill its way back up the chain and come for you. One day you will wake up with this thing standing over you, and that will be it. The second option, run from it yourself. There are several problems with this. First, it would be hard for you to work a regular job with this thing always showing up chasing you around your work, so you would have to lead it far enough away for you to work a full shift without it showing up. This would get old real quick, especially since you would have to do it again so that you could sleep, not to mention the fear thinking anyone walking towards you could be this thing. That would also get to you. If you resort to stealing and moving around to get you by, this is extremely risky if you get arrested you're screwed getting locked in a cell would be a death trap. The main issue with this curse is it just wears you down with its relentless chase. It never stops. It's going to get to you one day. You can't escape. One day you'll end up like Annie here, it could be today tomorrow, next week, or next year. Eventually, it will get you. 